Yeah, all your resources are in one building. And we're a big believer, in, and you have been doing this for a year, of coaching people on how to build out your team. Do you have an investor-friendly uh, real estate agent? Do you have an investor-friendly title company? How many lenders do you have? Do you have a hard money lender? Do you have a broker? Do you have a private lender? Having all of those tools in your tool belt is, you know, it's paramount to your success in being able to walk into a building for 150 bucks a year, getting access for 12 months, and having all the resources in that building. If you're not doing that, you're doing yourself a disservice. Right. You know, and you can't, it's easier to vet people face to face and, and hear testimonials of other people in that room about the companies you're wanting to potentially work with than it is by going to, again, YouTube or, or any of these other platforms where it's just an, you know, not a personal, you know, relationship you're having and maybe you're reading Google reviews or something that's not really somebody that's been there, done that, been in the trenches that can say, yes, this person performs. Yes, they're good at what they do. And let's, let's, this is a very serious uh, business in the sense that people are taking their capital that they might have been saving for a decade. Um, maybe they're a single mother with two kids and, and on the side they've been putting a little bit money for over 10 years. And if you don't have the team you can trust and is knowledgeable and knows how to get you through a transaction and be successful, you're taking that 10 years of hard work, that money that you want to build generational wealth with and putting it in the hands of the people that you, what, vetted via YouTube? Right. You know, that's just not a good business model. And then we, we know there's two types of people that go into these meetups. You have the guy that you see every single month. You know his face. You maybe don't know his name. Um, he's never approached you about a deal. He's never asked you to price anything out. You don't really see him networking with anybody else. And then on the flip side, you see somebody who's shaking everybody's hand. Yep. They're asking a million questions. So they have two different paths that they're going down and it comes back to taking action. So what's the difference between the guy who's gonna show up every month, listen to what everybody has to say, maybe even digest some of the information but doesn't act on it versus the guy, and we both know, you know an individual that we could probably think of right now that goes to every meetup probably half the age of most of the investors in those meetups and has probably done, what, a half a dozen flips this year because they take action.